Are you there? You awake? Okay, good. Um, so the bee man kind of hit you on the head pretty hard. So I'm here to look after you. I mean, I don't really want to, but you know, it's for Mr. J, so. Uh, see, we have a bit of a shortage um, of people who want to, you know, face the bee man. So I am here to make sure that you are back on your feet. Um, see, obviously I have a PhD in psychology, which makes me a doctor. So, uh, you know, we all have great faith in me. Um, I mean, I'm not like a doctor doctor, but like, we'll be fine. So, um, I have a light, um, that I would like you to, um, look into. Mm -hmm. So, no, no, not directly at first. Um, okay, just look at me. I've seen this on, on the internet, okay? So, uh, just look at me. And I'm gonna look for... I actually don't really know what I'm looking for, um, but it, it's fine. Um, so look straight ahead, okay? And I'm just gonna um, shine the light into your peripheral vision, okay? And by that, I'm checking to see if there's some sort of damage in your brain, in your eyes and stuff. So um, don't mind me getting a bit closer because... Um, that's how these things are done, I think. So, um, okay, good. Um, can you focus more in the center of my face? Or like just a point in the middle zone of your vision? Okay. Hmm, that's bright. Sorry. Can't really do much about that at the moment. I only have this light. I'll go a little slower, okay? But just remember, this is for Mr. J, okay? Well, he's paying you. No? Well. Well, yeah, a threat is just enough. Is, is just good enough to... <sighs> this isn't very easy. <sighs> I've had some people running out on me already today. Don't be that person, okay? Please. It's been a rough night. And I don't want any bad stuff to repeat itself. You know, Red is really mad at me. I promised her that she could work with us this time, but I said to her that, you know, sometimes she can be a little, um overly dramatic, you know? You've seen her, so yeah, she'll probably be mad at me for saying this. She always somehow knows what I'm talking about, but it's gonna be fine, I'm sure. It's just stressful. And you know, I'm missing my babies. I don't know what Mr. J did with them, but they are gone. My poor poopsies. My babies. Ew, I burnt myself on this thing. God. Like, this is my least favorite thing about this job, I'd say. Having to look after you guys when you're being such babies. Surely it can't be that painful when Batman hits you on the head. I mean, I know you have, like, a huge, um, something oozing there, but it's, it's fine, I'm sure. You know? So, from what I can see, everything kind of looks the same, except for your pupil is um, dilating, and then it's going back, and then it's doing the same thing all the time. So, I feel like that's a normal response. Um, from what I've read, I think your eyes, if you know something were wrong, they would probably not be doing that. So, that's what I'm going to write down. So, oh yeah, what was your name again? I've been talking to hundreds of people I don't know anymore. Okay. Uh, 
I'm just gonna call you patient, whiny, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, do you have any other pain except for that thing up there? How did he get you there? Oh. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm hmm I think that could be from lack of sleep. I know it's been rather cold outside, but, you know, you, you signed up for the job, so, you know, not really much I can do your head okay well I have a look at that um you know is there maybe anything going on that you would like to talk to me about I know I kind of lost my mind but I'm I still have a PhD okay mm -hmm. nightmares anxiety look maybe if you wanted to talk to um, Dr. Crane. Well, yeah, but he works with us, so it's fine. Besides, if he did anything, well, I mean, there's no guarantee. You know what? Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I mean, I'm not very fond of you guys, but trying that stuff was, yeah, not very good. <laughs> I had nightmares for weeks after. So, I'm not going to do that. So, what else do we have? Mm -hmm. That's all stress-induced. It really is. But, maybe if I check your face um, and apply some pressure to certain points, maybe that will actually improve. We'll see in a minute. I'm gonna go in with the light in a minute again, so please don't be a baby about this. But I wanna see, where is it? Actually, you know what? This is the right dose, I think. This is three moles, yeah. This should be fine. So, there's this new drug that uh, we wanna test out on our co-workers, um, which was also made by Dr. Jonathan Crane, but, um, we know that this works. This is kind of to get rid of the fears. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we don't have to directly in inject this anywhere, you just have to open your mouth. It does work faster when we do it on a vein or whatever, but, mm -hmm. so open up. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it should start working in like 10 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. So, okay, now back to the light. Um, right, I'm just gonna uh, ask you actually to follow the light for a second. Just the tip of the pen. Mm -hmm. Good. And I'm gonna be watching your eyes and the movement just to see if there's no... Um, I don't even know what the word is, but I'll know when I see it. Good. Mm hmm Yeah. I'm gonna go side to side and up and down. This should probably work, I think. Mm hmm I mean, you're obviously gonna be laying down for a while after this anyway, so... It will give you some tea or whatever, you know, nothing that boosts the energy because ultimately whatever you drink that boosts the energy will actually make you more t tired in the long run. So yeah, don't do that. That's stupid. You know, so many people drink coffee and then in the evening they have like a shakiness to them. Not good. Hmm. 
yeah, I know, like, people do it because they're running late or whatever, but it's, it's really not that good for the system. Well, yeah, I'm telling you this because it's general information. I like small talk, you know? God, I'm being such a baby about this. Okay, side to side. I'm gonna go slowly. And then switch it up to faster. Mm hmm. Same with up and down. Good. Okay. Good. Mm hmm. And one more up and down. Mm hmm So look ahead again. Look at me. Center. Good. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. It's looking great. your sense of smell I'd like you to smell this with your eyes closed obviously good what's this? good and what is this? keep your eyes closed please mm-hmm and another What's this? Mm hmm And let's take this one as the last one. Quite a big one. What's this? Mm, try again. Yeah, perfect. Okay. That's good. Right. So we've got that one and that one. So your sense of smell is also perfect, so that's good. Um, I think probably you're just kind of shaken up by the fact that you got beaten up by the bee man. You know? Yeah. I mean, he's always nice to me. I don't know really why, but you know. Maybe if you talk to him a little nicer, you know? I know you can get mad at him and whatever, but like... He's not really the type to, you know, just be a dick for no reason so I mean if sure like he has issues because otherwise he wouldn't be the way he is but you know what I mean okay so I'm gonna get the back of this okay so sense of smell can you move your arms around a bit for me Mm -hmm. Just like shrug your shoulders a bit and then kind of move around. Mm hmm. Good. Okay. So nothing's broken? Fractured? Well, okay. Okay. So before we go back to the eyes, I would like to also test. Um, your sense of taste because not that that's important when you're, you know, fighting, but whatever. Um, I have some little, little, um, what do you call these? Snippets. And if you put these on your tongue, you should taste something. So I'm gonna pick out. Which one? Okay, I think I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. Put it in your mouth. Mm hmm 
It should dissolve. Yeah. Okay, perfect. How about that one? Mm -hmm. Good, perfect. And this one. Open up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And one last one. Does this taste of? Perfect. Okay. See, I figured you'd be fine. You guys are just a bunch of babies, but it's okay. As long as you keep the bee man distracted, it's fine. So, taste. Absolutely fine. You know, I wish I. I wish they bought another doctor in because, to be honest, it's, you know, for hundreds of guys, you know, just one person, it's kind of, but, you know, Mr. J hasn't been feeling very good lately, so, you know, since he, uh, well, he's been sick. That's all you need to know. But that's fine. I'm sure we will find a cure. No, I'm fine. I am fine. Damn. Okay, now, back to the eyes. Um, do me a favor, again, look straight ahead. Focus on the center of my face. I'm gonna put these two fingers up, okay, each side. And then I am going to wobble one of my fingers and you tell me which one it is. Good. So, you ready? Good. So. Mm hmm Good. Mm hmm Yep. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Now this way. Good. Good. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Good. Perfect. Okay. All right. That's good as well. I'm gonna go back to my old page here. I don't really think there's much wrong. I mean, like I said, that's bleeding a lot, which, you know, it doesn't look too great, but it'll be fine. I promise. Maybe you just need some fresh air. You know, or maybe some of the goop that red left here. So, yeah. Okay. So, test. Excellent. Condition. kind of pale. Um, you know what? I need to see what I have here in my little box. I could always... Mm, I don't know. Of course, yeah, you haven't taken a shower yet, but I think we ought to maybe take the spikes out first from the grenade. Mm-hmm. So. This is just to get the uh, poisonous parts off. So. Then you just want to take it out yourself. Because I don't want to inflict any more pain. Unless you were to annoy me, but... Even then, I don't want to get my hands dirty, you know? It's just, I can't be bothered. But on the other side as well. So. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. 
that one's kinda let me actually take this out here. Okay. So that's looking fine. Okay. Alright, drop your nose off. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, um yeah, I think we're done for now. Um, can't really think of anything else. Um, uh, yeah, no, you're not gonna be sent out until tomorrow, probably. I presume. I mean, I could check. Um, we do have a tight schedule. Um, of course, we have to do something about Nightwing. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. It's been hell lately getting along. If only they just let us live in peace. But apparently that's too much to ask, so. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll be fine. It's fine. I'm sure. I'll just give you some of goop and then, you know, you can just leave <laughs> and, um, go to bed, you know? The old mattress is outside. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, um, <laughs> lots of fun, you know? I'm gonna go get something to drink or whatever. I just want this project to be done, <laughs> so... Okay, um, have a great day, and uh, I'll see you again, I guess. Goodbye.